documentation. This is for my vlog. This is good. This is for my vlog. This is necessary. I wasn't going to vlog the mess, but I decided to do it because it'd be easier to have footage to explain what the fuck this place is like. Basically, I'm going to talk about everything that happened, or I'm going to try to remember everything that happened. Uh, the gathering, I don't know, uh, some people don't know what juggalos are, but juggalos are people who listen to Insane Clown Posse, or there's a lot of juggalo music, but I guess it would be the easiest way to reference it would be that. I took a little bit of video while I was there that I'm gonna put in here. A lot of people ask me like what the gathering looks like. This is what the gathering looks like. Whoa, whoa! or I was somewhere in Missouri or something. Somebody asked me if I felt like a tourist or if I felt welcomed. The gathering is like super scary, but also super safe. Like as scared as you might feel, you also feel safe. Like Juggalos, it is like a family and everybody is like watching each other's back, taking care of each other. Uh, people will be really mean and then they'll be like really nice after like people will be like fuck you bitch like as you walk past and then you're like fuck you too and then they're like whoop whoop and then you're like whoop whoop I <laughs> uh, didn't feel I when I got there honestly I was like oh my god like I feel like people are gonna sm I, I was saying like people are gonna smell the virgin juggalo on me like they're gonna know you know, so like the first day I'm like, mm, people are like whoop whoop, and I'm like whoop whoop. And then by the, by the third, because I was there for four days. By the end, I was just like, screw, we're like screaming at people, we're yelling at people, we're yelling at people to show your butthole. That's like another thing that like is a, a juggalo greeting, <laughs> if you will. A juggalo greetings include whoop whoop and show your butthole. That's like how you say hi, how you doing. People were asking me like, is it only white people there? Uh, it's not only white people there. There's all kinds of people there. There's all different races. I mean, I would say, yeah, the majority, there is a lot of white people. If you're walking around, you're like, oh, there's white people. But there is a lot of other races. There's a lot of disabled people. There's a lot of people like who are in wheelchairs, who are missing limbs, who are black, white, Mexican. They are non-judgment juggalos just don't judge so you can be whoever you want you can go there just go whoop whoop face paint you know and abide by the juggalo rules 
is it welcoming there? <laughs> That's like the main question I got and everyone's just like, I think everybody wants to go, but they're just like scared to go. Um, if you want to go, you should go, you know, but just be prepared that it's like grimy, it's crazy, people will interact with you constantly and people will talk to you and, you know, it's judgment free so they ain't judging you don't be judging them because like juggalos will fight <laughs> and they will be mean because they don't give a fuck you know like a lot of juggalos come from like broken homes or small towns or whatever misunderstandings they have in their life or maybe they're perfectly normal you know but they will fight and you there's no disrespect like do not disrespect there's a lot of water throwing. There's a lot of throwing. There's a lot of shit flying everywhere all the time. Whether it's Fago, water, fucking cans, everything. Everyone's throwing shit at each other and it's not out of like being mad. That's just a juggle rule. You know, you're throwing shit. You're popping fireworks at each other. You're throwing shit everywhere. Everyone's throwing shit all the time. You get hit by something you just yell whoop whoop or you throw something back or you know someone flips you off you flip them off back like that's just how it is okay let me backtrack i got hired to go to the gathering to film for these girls who were performing so the whole time i was there i had my camera which you know kind of gave me a veil between people and me which like i like that because like i can be right in the middle of everything but at the same time I can completely disassociate and be like into what I'm filming. I had my camera and we were going up this hill and like I said people are throwing shit all the time. This girl has one of those like things that suck like a hell of water you know and she just aims it right at my camera and just psh, shoots my whole entire camera and my whole camera was soaked. But when I bought the camera, I asked the guy, I was like, this is weatherproof, right? Because I already knew that I was going to the gathering. And thank God it was water, not Fago. Because if it was Fago, I don't know if my camera would have survived. But everything worked out great. Because my camera's fine, as you can see. It was the last day, the last night. Me and all the girls, we're going out, we're going trolling. That's what we would do, just go out and troll, drive around, get footage. My homegirl's on the megaphone, and... I, we're like pulling up so we're slowing down we're about to stop this juggalo clown dude comes up and he just has a full full liter two liter of fago and just douses her in the fago and like i feel a little bit on my back but she got the whole bottle so i get up and i turn around i'm like oh shit i tell the other girl i'm like some shit happened I don't know like what we're like I don't know how to read the situation yet I don't know if we're laughing I don't know if we're about to fight him I don't know what's going on so the girl that got Fago baptized um she's like really nice you know like she was just like oh my god like what the fuck and then the dude when he the dude who did it when he did it he had this look on his face like I don't give a fuck like I'm I'm you know he looked like he didn't care, like he looked like, he looked mean, you know, and um, he was, she was just like, what the fuck, and like, my other homegirl gets in his face, and she's just like, what the fuck, and then he just like, totally turns into like, oh my god, like, I'm so sorry, like, I don't know, like, what, like, we're at the gathering, like, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know, like, you know, so then they end up like, chatting and talking for like, 30 minutes, and like, becoming homies, there's no security, there's no nothing, like you could literally do anything there, anything there can happen. Uh, it's not, it's different, it's, it's lawless. I would say the gathering is very lawless. There's, everyone's doing something illegal, pretty much. Would I go again? I think I would, uh, especially if I had a job to do, if I was filming there. There's a lot of stuff there that you can't see at any other festival, at any other place. Um, it's fun to participate, to just like paint your face and wild out. And like I said, everyone's very welcoming and mean at the same time. So you get to be mean too, you know? But I would say don't like go up in there like being the type of person who's like, going there to like just look at people don't go there if you're going to look down on people or make fun of people because everyone's super nice everyone's super chill there's kids 
there's old ladies, there's everybody there, there's moms, there's pregnant ladies, there's, you know, every type of person is there. Dude, I was working some brutal hours. Like, there was a night that we finished uh, at 6 a.m., had to be up at 10 a.m. and ready to go like by 11:30, you know. And there is a lot of no sleeping. I'm honestly, uh, let me talk a little bit about like my experience and not like the Juggalo experience. So I got hired by this agency called Calypsa, and it was all these girls, and it was like a rough beginning for me because I came to Chicago to film Lollapalooza. But my flight was delayed, I had a layover, and then that flight was delayed, and it was like a three hour delay. And I make it to Chicago at Lollapalooza, I'm supposed to be, the, the act I'm filming starts at 3 p.m. I literally pull up to the gate at 3 p.m. and they're like, we can't run out and give you the, the passes because <laughs> it's 3 p.m., you know? I was just like, fuck. So I'm like sitting outside of Lollapalooza with all my luggage. I'm fucking dead tired. My flight left LA at 1 a.m. I didn't get to Chicago till 3 p.m. So just imagine just how like horribly tired I was. I was sitting outside with all my baggage the show's over and they like come get me my passes get me in and then the girls are like oh sorry you didn't make it and I was just like oh my god like I'm so tired I'm so upset like so it was like a rough beginning for me and I was just like oh my god like I'm pissed you know but then we start doing the gathering well, we drive from Chicago to Indiana uh, and honestly like I bonded with these girls like so hard we had so many like crazy conversations about like being an artist, being a woman, being almost 30, you know, like, there was just, like, I want to cry talking about it, because it was just, like, the whole experience, like, working with women who are, like, super powerful, super in tune with their emotions and what they want and their art, and, like, being around that was, like, wow, you know, like, I was very inspired, like, the whole time, and there was a lot of inspiring conversations, and a lot of strength, because there was also a lot of drama that was happening, just dealing with so much, I mean, we're doing, like, a, they're doing, like, a big performance, you know, so there's a lot of stress, a lot of drama, a lot of putting things together without any practice, pretty much, and same with me, like, I just bought this camera, like, a week before this and so everyone's just like running ragged everyone's tired no one has slept everyone's just going 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 working 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 and everyone was extremely supportive it was like by the end I was like I don't want to leave you guys like oh, please let's hang out like you know be my friend I don't think I could have done the gathering I, like if I was with like a whole bunch of dudes like I wouldn't have been able to do it but I was with these girls and they were like super supportive and everyone's supporting each other and everyone's got each other's back. I felt very safe and it was amazing working with all those girls. I think the cool thing was that everyone was pushing themselves and doing something new and we were all doing it together and we were all super smart we're all super strong, we're all super independent, we're all extremely creative, we are all on like this very similar wavelength, and we're all s super funny and like goofy, and like even though like the girls, their whole thing is like about being sexy and like stuff, it was also like about being like tough, and that's like my swag, right? Like look at me, sexy and tough, you know? That's all I gotta say, I guess. Uh, whoop whoop, show me your butthole. I uh, took out some film pictures and I put them on my Kofi. I don't know how that's how you say it, but I like to say it like that. Um, so you can go look at some, some film pictures there. Um, as far as all the footage with the girls, like that's not gonna be in my vlog because that's their footage. I recorded a little footage for myself, but it wasn't too much. Alright, woo woo. Show me your butthole.